Hi, my name is Sam Child, I'm also a broker in the state of Texas. I wanted to talk to you about how to get the best interest rate possible in this environment where the Federal Reserve is raising the interest rate or the mortgage rates are crossing 6%, 6, 6.25% or even 7% or so. So what can you do? What are the tricks of the trade basically what you have? Number one, always get the pre-approval letter, find out what is the maximum uh, dollar value you can buy and what is the interest rate is going to be. A lot of people actually do is like, oh, I'm gonna shop it on online. Well, online, they might have teaser rates, but when they start looking at your file, they will change the interest rate on you. So you have to be very, very careful exactly how many points they're trying to buy down. So let me let me just kind of go ahead. So number one, one of the trick of the trade is you can literally buy down the point. So what does that mean? You can buy down, every time they say, hey, you need to buy down a point, what does that mean? That means you can buy down one eighth of a point or one point equals to one eighth or 0.0125% that will reduce the interest rate. So it will go from 6.25 to 6.125. Okay, that is considered one point. And depending on the loan value, what it's going to be, the, the lender is going to tell you how much it's going to cost. And we closed a transaction where my client actually ended up buying almost close to four points, right? So uh, some people, hey, Sam, I do have some cash. You have to do the analysis that if it's going to be worth it for you to buy down the interest rate points, right? Um, that if you're going to be, let's say, if you're gonna be doing a refinance in three years or so, then is it worth it to buy down the points right now? Okay, what's the second trick of the trade, which I believe is one of the best one. Since we already know the market has is slowing down, you know, on the, on the real estate side of it, and, and what you can do is ask the seller to contribute certain amount of money towards your closing cost, towards your closing cost. And you can say, you can take that closing cost and help you buy down the points. Let's say, for example, if to reduce the interest rate from 6% to, or 6.25 to 6.125 is gonna cost you $2,000 or so, well, ask the seller to help you contribute let's say five points or so, or five times two, that's gonna be $10,000 contribution from the seller towards your closing cost. And you can take that money and literally buy down the points instead of paying 6.25, you're going to be paying 5.875 mortgage interest rate. So that is the second trick of the trade. And I believe it is more beneficial for you asking the seller to help you contribute toward that. But of course, you also have to kind of keep in mind that you know, it's it's a, it's a negotiable item. Are you going to get exactly 10,000 or 5,000, 3,000, whatever it's going to be, you know, you have to contact and find out exactly what the situation is going to be based on exactly how much, how much you can get. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Sam, phone number is 832-419-4700. Talk to you then.